rectangular uh, prism of base side 25 into 40 mm given axis length 65 it is resting on HP on its base with the longer side of the base inclined at 30 degree to VP. So it is cut by a plane inclined at 40 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP and exactly passing at extreme left corner of the base. Okay. So first I will be drawing an XY line. Okay. XY line I will draw now. Okay. I will take a reference point on this. Take reference point. So keep the protractor at this point. Mark for angle 30 degree, 30 degree. Okay. So it is exactly inclined at an angle of 30 degree. Okay. So draw a line of length passing through this angle point. So, so the angle it is 30 degree. Okay. And here it is placed with the longer side. Longer side it is 40 mm. So so measure the length of 40 mm on this angle line okay angle line 40 mm so now you take again you take the protractor mark exactly at 90 degree using these reference points okay again you keep the protractor at the another reference point mark for 90 degree okay now you draw a line of length passing through this point uh, at a height of 25 mm it is a rectangular prism okay so draw a line of length passing through this 90 degree point at a height of 25 mm so 25 so you can mark 25 mm here okay then join So that completes a rectangle rectangle of dimension 40 into 25. So we will show the dimension. So you can show on the upper side or the lower side, no problem. So 40 and 25. by 25 and inclined at 30 degree okay now we have to draw the front view of this so so it is an prism so it is having top face and bottom face top face a b c d bottom face a 1 b 1 c 1 and t 1 not visible that's why it is in bracket now we draw the diagonals to find out the center of the axis draw the diagonals mention o, o1 center of the axis now draw the projection lines projection lines from all these endpoints okay so draw the projection line here okay you can see here uh, the axis length they have mentioned it is 65 so from the axis first I will draw an axis length for 65 mm and then the remaining edges also will draw for 65 From all this, uh, we need to draw the vertical edges for dimension 65. Then join, we get the rectangular face in the front view for a prism, right? This is a rectangular prism, height of 65. Okay, so we can show the dimension for the front view. So it is 65. Okay, so now we can see there is an uh, cut plane, the resection plane cutting at an angle of 40 degree to HP and it is perpendicular to VP passing extreme corner, left corner of the base. You can see extreme left corner we need to consider here. So, so this is whatever the extreme left corner. Okay, keep at this exact point. Okay, and mark for angle 40 degree. Okay, mark for angle 40 degree draw a line okay cut plane here passing through this angle point okay 
section plane you need to draw here okay and it is exactly at an angle of 40 degree okay now we need to dark the uh, remaining uh, portion that is retained a cut portion we need to dark this okay so we need to dark this okay now we need to mark the points here one exactly at one a and b exactly at uh, two exactly at b and three exactly at c and four exactly at d so and again five we get it and one here so now we draw the development of this uh, cutted uh, remaining portion of the prism okay, so first i will extend these lines because these things are drawn with the true lens of line okay true lens of line these things were drawn so first i will take a reference uh, vertical edge okay from this uh, vertical edge we need to proceed from a from a to b you can see from a to b it is having a length of 25 it is having a length of 25 you can cut the arc so that is your a b 25 next from so we'll draw vertical line here and i will show the dimensional for this so the dimensional it is at 25 mm okay 25 next from b to c we have 40 mm b to c we have 40 so we'll cut dark that is bc bc it is having 40 mm okay bc we have 40 mm again from c to d we have 25 okay c to d we have again 25 because this is an uh, rectangular prism so based on the edge we need to consider the length again from d to a again it is 40 so we can mark the points here d and this is a and we draw the vertical edges exactly at this b c and d and a points so drawing the vertical edges So now we have to mark this uh, point number 1 at A and at B we have, so we can measure it uh, from the compass, from the top face or from the bottom face we can measure it, no problem. Okay, you can measure that and cut the arc. Again you can measure that point number 3 on the point D, again the point number 4 on the vertical edge D so now we can mark the namings here so it is 2 3 4 so now I have to join all these 1 2 3 4 5 with the straight line with the help of scale we'll join this so we need to join this so we need to dark this uh, the entire retained uh, remaining uh, portion of the rectangular prism we need to dark this okay so we have to dark it because this is what the cut at the uh, remained portion okay remove remained portion we know that we need to dark it okay okay so this completes the problem